It's breakfast time. All right, maybe it's lunch, but I usually don't eat until now. And that means I'm breaking my fast. So technically it is breakfast time. I'm freaking out, man. Today, we're starting the day with some of the most delicious and high protein scrambled eggs I've ever made. The best part, all you really need is two ingredients for this one. So let's jump right into it. We're gonna start this one by adding into either a mixing bowl, blender, or food processor, four large whole eggs, half a cup of cottage cheese, a little salt, and a little black pepper. Whatever else you wanna add in, like seasonings, garlic powder, and so on, is completely up to you. Use the eggs and cottage cheese as your base and build off of it to fit your macros or cravings. And no, you can't taste the cottage cheese at all. Go ahead and mix everything together. If you don't like the texture or sight of cottage cheese, then this is the part where you blend your process until smooth. Either way tastes great, I personally don't have a preference. Next, take out a stovetop pan or griddle, turn your burner on medium heat, and add in around half a tablespoon of oil or butter. Once your pan or griddle heats up, you can pour your mix in and cook your eggs until your desired consistency. Pro tip, keep your eggs moving as they cook. Also, much like I mentioned earlier, where you can add in anything else into your mix, you can add whatever else you want into your eggs while they cook, like another cheese, chopped up vegetables, ground beef or turkey for more protein, bacon bits, or one of my favorites, some chopped up chives. Now that that's cooking, it's time for the tip of the day. Did you know that if you have a food processor, you can make your own homemade almond flour or almond meal in less than a minute? To do this, you simply add in your almonds and process them by pulsing rather than turning your processor on. As you pulse them, you'll want to make sure to scrape down the sides every 5 to 10 seconds. Once it starts to look like your almond flour or meal, stop pulsing unless you want some almond butter. Oh, and the difference between almond flour and almond meal would just be from the type of almond you're using. Raw with the skin on would be almond meal, and blanched with the skin off would be almond flour. I hope that helps. Back to the recipe. A couple tips for this one. Number one, you could simply just add some scrambled eggs to your cottage cheese without cooking everything together, but in my opinion, it's way better cooked together. Number two, add your eggs into a wrap or bagel thin for a high protein breakfast wrap or sandwich. And number three, 30 seconds in the microwave will quickly reheat it. That's it, we're done. Before we end this one, I've got a question for you all. Cottage cheese. Seems to be about the only thing that's gone down in price here. It's now less than two bucks for a 24 ounce container, which is less than three cents per gram of protein. How much is a 24 ounce container where you live? Let me know in the comments below. With that said, hit that thumbs up button. If you like this recipe, don't forget that you can scale and print all of our recipes on theproteinchef.co. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're this close to a 300,000 subscriber giveaway, finally. Check out at the Protein Chef on socials, and of course, stay healthy. What?